All right, there we go. So here's the your video. This is your 33s on this one. This is a 97. It's the four door. Um, it's just something that we beat around in the desert with here, but um, we did manage to get the 33s on here. These are the big 12 fives though. Pretty good size. I did have to trim down here in the back of the fenders you can see to get them on there. And then in the back, you barely have clearance. If you can look down in there, you'll see that you've got probably an inch, maybe an inch right there. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna bend that or if I'm gonna cut that out or, uh, or what I'm gonna do there. So um, you're also gonna have to re-weld uh, you some, uh, some studs on the back here for your spare, because you can see that spare is gonna take up uh, a lot of real estate in the back and it's not gonna fit. Now what I've done here is I've used this is actually a front bumper. Once you take the skin off, this is what you're going to have underneath it. It's just a front bumper without the skin. And I just use that. I don't want these great big giant bumpers because it, uh, it messes with my ascent and descent coming in and out of these washes and stuff. So that's why I just went with that. That's nice and tight and compact in there. So you see here the same right there. This has the three inch, uh, I'm sorry, two inch block. And then the the, the two inch spacer for the springs and that's what it has there this side was cut as well as you can see there so and then some of the other things for future projects is I put this rack up there these are LEDs on top but I just never really got into the shop lights you know like like I have on these other ones that you see right here I don't really care for these shop light uh, driving lights they don't look that good so I prefer these a lot better a little bit more traditional so then one of the other modifications because i want this to be able to pull a little some kind of a little trailer i went ahead in the back here if you can see it and i just cut out this back plate and uh put me a square two inch receiver into it so i can just drop a receiver in there and i can tow with that these things can tow about a thousand to fifteen hundred pounds depending on which website you go to but I think a guy could make a little teardrop or square drop little trailer that might go right behind this and just uh, just take it out on the trails there. Putting around, I think you should be fine. So you're certainly not gonna pull a motor home with it. But, um, but anyway, that's how your, your 33s are gonna look. And you can see here on the side, the size of them, you know, the 12 fives. So it's a lot of tire, it rides a little rough. It does, and that's why I'm probably gonna put the, uh, the Cal Mini system on it, because these are, like I said, these are just uh, a body lift and uh, the spacer lift, and that's it. So, um, but I do have this one here that you can see here. It does have the Cal Mini setup on it, even in the back. So I'm gonna pull that off. And it is a two door, but the two door and the four door, as far as I understand these Cal Mini kits, um, uh, they're interchangeable, they're the same thing. So, but anyway, there's your video about the 33s and about the lift. Um, this one, I like I said, I got it set up to tow behind a motorhome and uh, take it with me and go have fun with it. So anyway, good luck on your project. Here's a couple other ones. This is actually a runner. I think it needs a fuel pump. This one right here, uh, this, this is my parts one right here. This one, I'm gonna take uh, the solid axles off of that 75 CJ5 right there. And I'm going to put the solid axles onto this yellow one right here and do something kind of goofy with the yellow one. I also got a transfer case and a uh, three-speed transmission in that Jeep. So I'll probably use that on that Suzuki and use those for uh, solid axles and swaps. The frames are only about a quarter of an inch or uh, half an inch uh, difference as far as the width goes. I think I should be able to modify that. And there's another one. I'm going to probably pull this engine out. Of that one and replace it with the block out of this yellow one right here. It's low miles on that one. So, and then uh, that'll do it. So, anyway, I just want to share those with you. Good luck on your project.